Hi guys. I know I apologize like every video I do that it's been so long since I uploaded the last video. I know, I know. It's been like two months. However, time is just flying by. My daughter is 16 months old. I literally don't understand how she is that old. Like she's not my little baby anymore. She's like a little toddler who's walking around and learning and trying to talk and is like silly and goofy and funny and I don't want to miss anything. So I don't like to take time away from her to film. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to look back in one of these days back when she's older so i want to just soak in as much as i can now you guys don't care you guys don't care you always say like it's fine take your time we'll be here when you you know upload and i appreciate you i appreciate you so much but anyways today we are going to try a couple new products mainly i want to focus on the urban decay face bond waterproof foundation i got this into me in pr i put up a community tab post asking if you guys even wanted to see anything on this um, foundation because it is kind of old news it's not a new launch anymore at this point i do have two shades here i'm probably not going to try both i'm going to price watch to see which one i think would match me better but we have four fair cool and five fair neutral that's going to be like the main focus of today's video but i do have a couple other products to test out we have the new color pop uh, blushes that they recently launched that are definitely trying to dupe the rare beauty ones so i have a couple of those i want to possibly give a try well i've tried them actually um off camera and i like them but i want to show them to you guys and then we have this what's up beauty watch me mascara i got this in pr a while ago and i just haven't had a chance to try it i don't like trying new mascaras i'm not gonna lie uh because i just have been loving the couple that i love so much I've been loving the couple that I love, that makes sense. Um, but I really don't like to deviate from mascara because I don't tend to like a lot of them, but I did want to try this. And then Pixi released these new On The Glow Super Glow Highlight Moisturizer Stick. They have these in blushes and bronzer form. Haven't tried the bronzers, but I love the one shade of blush that I have so stinking much. So they released them in highlights. So I wanted to try that out. Before I put the foundation on though, I am gonna put some primer on. I know some people don't like to alter or foundation finishes with like primer or setting spray or anything like that. However, I would never wear a foundation without a primer and really without a setting spray. So I like to add those products in when I'm doing a foundation review because that's how I would actually wear it. If I just put the foundation straight on my skin right now, I probably wouldn't like how it looked because I'm not doing my normal steps. So some people might appreciate that, some people might not. Like if you don't wear primer, you probably don't want me to add one, but I'm going to anyways. Also, I think this is like a more matte foundation and I have dry skin. So we are going to apply the Makeup Forever Hydra Boost Step 1 Primer first. Just a nice hydrating primer. I got a sample of this in Sephora, um, like in a Sephora order, and I really loved it. So I ended up buying just the mini at the last sale. And it really is hydrating feels good on the skin i did go ahead and do my normal skincare routine put on my face lotion put on my sunscreen all of that so i have that underneath but i want to give this foundation like the best chance of me liking it because i actually don't know if i will because i'm really not into like matte drying foundations anymore so again this is the urban k face bond waterproof foundation up to 24 hour wear has three percent niacinamide it also says can't feel coverage so i'm assuming this is going to be really lightweight on the skin i am hoping it's self-setting i will probably still use some powder i don't know we'll see how once i like blend it all in but it says water sweat and humidity proof smudge and transfer resistant no powder needed i don't guys we'll see lightweight medium buildable coverage non-comedogenic and like i said it has that nice cinnamide in it so let's go ahead and swatch the two shades they sent me they look pretty similar in the bottle i don't know let's see let's shake them up first okay here we have four fair cool and then five fair neutral they kind of look the same i think i'm gonna go with the five though yeah i think that'll match me a little bit more the four seems a little too light it does say it's a natural matte finish but in my opinion, usually when things say matte finish at all, they're pretty drying on me personally, so we'll see. It does say there's three ways to apply. For full coverage, they recommend using your fingers. For medium coverage, they recommend your favorite foundation brush. And then for light coverage, they recommend your favorite beauty sponge. I'm going to get a little bit out on the back of my hand. I have no idea how much I need of this. I've been using less foundation. That probably looks like way too much. I have been using less foundation lately, which is nice. And I'm going to spread it out on my face with my fingers first and then pat it in with a sponge so we'll see how much coverage it keeps i'm gonna go in sections because this is matte and i don't know how fast it's gonna dry and i'm not trying to not be able to blend it in you know okay that didn't provide too much coverage but maybe we'll try to build it up 
I don't like using brushes. They always end up being dry on me. So I understand a brush would probably give me more coverage, but I would rather have less coverage and not be super dry on my face, you know, than the opposite. Like more coverage, but dry. So I personally am not a brush kind of girl. Okay, it definitely is like more matte. Like you can see, well, I don't know. I feel like in person it's looking more matte than it is on camera. I do have that hydrating, you know, primer on. So that would make sense that it is a little bit shiny and glowy. This is not the best shade match ever for me. It's a little bit orangey, a little yellow, but it'll do. I think once I have the rest of my foundation on, it'll be fine. Okay, so here it is with one layer. Definitely did not provide the best coverage, but my cheek was kind of hot and red on this side. So I get that. There's more coverage on this side where there was less to cover. Makes sense, but it's not looking too dry thankfully because i was a little worried not gonna lie i am gonna put a little bit more on i'm just gonna grab it on my sponge and apply it on like my cheek area where i do need the little extra help okay it seems to be like applying nicely on a second layer sometimes you can't layer things up and they just don't look right especially matte products a bit more on this cheek it doesn't look terrible i actually am a little bit more pleased with how it looks than I thought I was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a dry, cakey mess. I did try to go in with a little bit light of a, lighter of a layer than I typically go in. I have been trying to use less foundation recently, like I mentioned, but I feel like it doesn't look too dry, too cakey. It is going in my smile lines on this side a little bit. I'm not too worried about that. I think it looks good. I am gonna apply some concealer, obviously. I'm gonna put some down here to help with this, like, you know, coverage, and I've got like this zit right here and stuff, but for the most part, I think it's looking good. I'm actually surprised with how not dry it's looking on my forehead and my nose, because those are my trouble areas. But, okay, I'm liking this more than I thought I was going to, I'm not gonna lie, I really am. So that's good. For concealer, I'm gonna use the One Size Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. In this, I have the shade Fair 3. I'm just gonna put a little bit down here just to help with that coverage. A little tiny bit on my nose and then under my eyes and the eyelids because they are discolored. <laughs> the concealer blended in really great with it. There's not any weird, sometimes if you have like a more hydrating-ish sort of concealer, plus a more matte foundation. It can just get weird, especially on the under eyes, like right here, blending it all in. But I feel like it blended in really nicely with that foundation. I am like pleasantly surprised with how much I like this. Plus I've kind of seen mixed reviews about it. So I really wasn't sure how I was going to feel. I do think that the hydrating primer was a must, a key for this. I think if I didn't do that, it would definitely be looking more dry and I wouldn't like it as much. We're gonna keep rolling with this. Um, I definitely don't think that it's self, like I would definitely still wanna set this. Like I know I just put the concealer on but I'm trying to touch places that I didn't put concealer and it definitely does not feel self-setting. It still feels tacky. I personally just don't like that feeling on my face. Some people might have this level of tack and be fine with it because it's not like super oily or greasy it's just a little bit tacky i personally don't like that feeling like i said um some people might not care for me i probably still will put some powder on this i'm gonna go do just some cream bronze really quick probably my nars one that i love with my whole heart and then we're gonna try out the ColourPop new liquid blushes they just released okay so these are the new color pop weightless liquid blush they're definitely trying to dupe the rare beauty blushes for sure and i feel like they do a pretty good job at it if i'm being honest he sent me the whole range with all eight shades i think or maybe 10. i did go ahead and put the darker ones in the donate pile that i didn't think would work out for my skin tone and then i let one of my best friends take a couple shades as well because i don't need eight new liquid blushes these are the two i decided to keep and try so far they look very similar they look very similar uh, this is the shade super shy and then we also have thanks let me go ahead and swatch them for you so we have super shy and thanks they're actually more different swatched out than i thought they were going to be right next to each other i haven't obviously used them right next to each other but um still very very pretty shades which one do i want to use i think i'm going to go with this one the thanks one yeah let me try that one out for you guys i'm going to use my elf a putty primer applicator blush my favorite blush brush i also have another one for uh cream bronzer because it's such a good brush i'm just going to tap this on my cheeks 
I did not get very much. Let me get a little bit more. I actually do not think they're as pigmented as the Rare Beauty ones, which I appreciate because the Rare Beauty ones can be a little bit much. They can be intimidating. They can be a little hard to work with. They seem to, I mean, I only have one shade, but it seems to blend out fine, but it just is like a little scary when you're first applying it because you're like, oh my gosh, it's like super pigmented and all of that. But this has less pigmentation, at least this shade. Um, and I feel like the other one does too. I haven't used it in a couple weeks but like i said that's a bonus for me could not be a bonus for you but for me it is and i just think they tap out really nicely they blend out very easily they seem to last a long time i do want to admit <laughs> that i haven't really ever used it on its own i usually always put a powder blush on top of it i'm just being honest with you guys that is how i like to do my makeup so i haven't really used this on its own but it seems to be like staying nicely with that on like another blush on top of it you know i never noticed my blush fading throughout the day when i use this as a base but i just think it's a really pretty shade you guys saw how easily and fast it blended out has a little bit of glow to it but nothing too like greasy looking i really like it i think it's pretty i think it's pretty so this is a win in my book and the other shade is super pretty as well let me know if you tried those down below if you saw that launch from ColourPop and you were like Rare Beauty dupe? Let me try it out because I am curious your guys' thoughts too. I honestly don't think I look like I need powder. I know that foundation is supposed to be like self-setting and you're not supposed to need powder with it, but I just never don't powder my face. And I don't mind this level of glow that I've got going on. I think it's nice. So I'm going to use like the most lightweight powder I own and I'm just going to use a little bit. So this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm not going to use like I said, a lot. I'm just gonna tap a little bit on with a brush. Normally I like to use the powder puff, like the Sephora powder puff and like really pack it in my T-zone. I'm not even gonna do that today. I'm just gonna apply a thin layer. I have been really loving the Givenchy powder. It's pricey, but man, is it super boring. I have been using that like nonstop, but it's a little bit more oomphy of a powder. So I figure I would use like a really lightweight one today with this foundation that's like not supposed to need powder and just see how that goes. Which like, I get the point of like your foundation not needing powder, but you apply concealer, cream bronzer, cream blush usually, or I guess you could just use all of those products in powder form and not have to technically powder your face. But I just, that's just not how I do my makeup, you know? So I'm gonna do my makeup how I like to do it. That way it's a better representation for you guys. My thoughts on the foundation. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush with just a little bit of powder and like lightly set the bronzer and blush. Run a little e.l.f. wow brow. I still love this stuff years later. I think I've been using this for like two or three years at this point. It is just so stinking good. Okay, the Pixi On The Glow Super Glow Highlight Moisture Stick. That is quite the name. They said over two shades. I ended up keeping this shade, which is Natural Luster. I'm pretty sure it's the more goldy one. They also sent over a really white sort of one. And I just didn't think that it would go super well with like my skin tone. Like I think it'd be too icy and I'm really not into like an icy highlight anymore. So this is what it looks like on my hand, obviously. What I like about this is it's easy to use over um, powder, which a lot of times I'm not a like liquid cream sort of highlight fan because I powder my face. And then when you put that sort of liquidy product over powder, sometimes it can mess it up. This, I haven't noticed it lifting the foundation under my highlight anytime that I've used it so far. So how I like to apply it is I just rub it on my middle finger right here, kind of warm it up on the stick and my finger. And then I just lightly tap on my cheekbones, try to kind of get like all over the place. And this is not going to be a wham bam in your face sort of highlight. Maybe the lighter shade would be, but again, I'm really not interested in that type of highlight anymore. It just gives a really natural lit from within. You didn't set your face. You're just naturally glowing sort of thing. And that is the type of highlight that I have been interested in lately it just gives your face a beautiful sheen so this is with the highlight and then this side is without i still have a little bit of sheen without it just because you know i didn't fully set down my face very well like i used a really lightweight powder and that kind of stuff and i like that that's like the look i'm going for personally if you do like a more intense highlight or you really are not interested in a like liquid cream form i get it maybe give this one a go if you like this sort of natural highlighty look 
only because it does work so easily over powder like it's not lifting my foundation at all i don't know if you guys can see that it just went on top of it really nicely it does sometimes lift on the end of my nose i have to be really careful i just think it's so pretty and natural it just looks like i am a highlighted goddess that drinks all the water she needs to drink and i'm super healthy and glowy <laughs> this has been a win in my book i've been using mainly nothing but the cleo kill lash super proof mascara long curling <laughs> everything has such long names these days i've been loving this mascara i mentioned it in i think my last video a couple months ago how it is just holding my curl and making my lashes look really bomb not as thick as i want but it's holding a curl and that's really mainly all i want so i've just been using this i haven't even reached for like tart man eater in a while which is saying something because that's like my favorite mascara ever the cleo might be creeping up on it not gonna lie but i did want to go ahead and give this one a try just to try it out it says that it has like a two-sided brush so you have to be like kind of strategic about how you apply it which part of me is like mm, that's a little annoying i just want to be able to apply it and go but the other part of me is like if it works like I'm willing to do the extra work, you know what I mean? So it says how to use, begin by applying mascara on your eyelashes with the twisted wire brushes, and then you're gonna switch to the silicone comb and brush lashes to help define, curl, and lengthen. So it kind of seems like you wanna just apply it first and then kind of comb it through with the other side. Honestly, this is kind of an ingenious brush because it has the type of brush that people want, like both types. Like it has this side right here, which is like a normal mascara brush, and then this side up here, which is like the more silicone-y side of a brush so it kind of has like both mascara ones in one that's pretty genius so we're just going to give my lashes a little tiny curl i already curled them once but squeeze 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 curl 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 all right so we're going to apply with this bottom part first just kind of get it on there i don't really know how much to use it's kind of getting everywhere on my eyelid but that happens a lot i'm not too upset about it okay and then switch it with the silicone side and comb through let's try this side these are my bad lashes because this is the side i sleep on predominantly so i feel like these lashes are always messed up <laughs> like they don't curl as well fluffier side first and then switch it to the silicone side I'm just gonna use this silicone side on my bottom lashes too. All right, it's not looking terrible. I definitely don't think they're holding a curl as well as the Cleo one I've been using. I, I think it's kind of already falling, but it did say a lot of dry and you can go in with a second layer. I guess I'll try that and then we'll see if it gets clumpy because I do not want a clumpy mascara. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and try out the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss Balms for you again. I did try it in my last video, but I wanted to show you a different shade. The last video I used Guava Glaze. So this time I'm gonna use Dolled Up. It's just a really pretty light pink shade. These are nice. They're not my favorite, but they are definitely nice and pretty on the lips. Is my blush fading? I feel like my blush is fading, especially on this side. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I did go really light with it the first time I applied it, so I'm not too, too upset about it, but I do want to apply more. <laughs> and it's nice about this formulation that I can do this over powder, the Buxom new like cream blushes. These ones that they launched recently, they're Plump Shot Collagen Peptides Advanced Plumping Blush. <laughs> um, these do not look good over powder. Pretty much once you apply them, that's it and you can't really add more over powder it just gets like just weird looking um but this is a good formulation that you can add over powder which i appreciate because sometimes you're in a situation like this where you're at the end of your makeup and you're looking at your face and you're like well where'd my blush go like i want more you know and with the buxom you can't really add more but this you can okay now there's like too much is there too much now i don't know it'll probably fade a little bit again i'm not too concerned about it also i've come to realize that when i'm doing my makeup in this situation where i have like my studio lights on my ring light i'm filming i feel like my makeup always looks worse here now than in actual like everyday real life normal lighting quote unquote so i try not to beat myself up too much about how my makeup looks right now because usually in normal lighting everyday lighting how people are seeing me it looks better like this is very um illuminated and all the flaws are pointed out way more so let's go ahead and apply another layer of this mascara it's definitely not holding a curl like i would like it to sadly but we're gonna try again just add a little second layer 
it said on the box you can do that so hopefully it won't get too clumpy i'm still following the fluffy side first and then the silicone side second yeah not my favorite mascara ever this is why i don't like trying new mascaras you guys because i feel like nine and a half times out of ten i just don't like them so we'll see you know how it ends up wearing if it ends up flaking down on my cheeks at all it is kind of getting everywhere which is like a little annoying i don't like that the Cleo one does it too though, so I'm not super upset. It's just kind of like annoying, <laughs> you know what I mean? Also, it's still very wet. I mean, I guess I just applied it, but this is one that I think will take a while to dry down, but what can you do, you know? I don't think I'm gonna add a setting spray. I think I do want to go ahead and see how this foundation and this makeup holds up without a setting spray. Um, So this is the final look. I do wanna do like a wear test and show you how it wore throughout the day. I'll probably do like one checkup and then try to come in at the end of the day and show you how it wore the rest of the day. Right now it's 11.09. I put this foundation on a while ago though. I'm gonna say 10.30. We're just gonna go with 10.30. It's like my first check-in point. So I'll check in in a few hours and then again at the end of the day. I do have a request for you guys. What videos do you want to see from me? Because I am not buying new makeup like I have been in the past. I get some things in PR, which is so amazing. I feel really grateful and lucky for those packages that come in. I, I would love to show you guys like those products. Um, but besides like trying new makeup on the few products I get in PR slash the few products that I actually buy myself, what do you want to see from me? Because I told my husband earlier, I'm kind of struggling on what type of videos to make because I'm not buying a lot of makeup. And then he was like, yeah, you're also not wearing a lot of makeup, which is so true. Like I probably do my makeup three to four times a month now, which is so crazy to say that because I used to do it every single solitary day, but there's just no point to doing it. You know what I mean? Like I'm spending time with my daughter and then on her nap times, I'm usually working out and like relaxing for a few minutes and like eating lunch and stuff. And then it's like, go, go, go the rest of the day. So like, there's really no, Point to wear makeup every day in my opinion right now um and then the couple of times I do it we usually have plans so I don't know let me know like what you want to see like I thought about doing um like the best eyeshadow palettes for summer and then I was like why you're not wearing eyeshadow like I literally have barely been wearing eyeshadow recently and actually I'm probably gonna put a little bit of bronzer in my crease and like call it a day I just haven't been liking eyeshadow lately like at all actually when I wear it I don't like how it looks on me I don't know what's going on so I don't know like what content to film for you guys besides just like a random get ready with me's. I don't want to only do trying new makeup because I'm not trying like the newest makeup. I'm not like Morgan Turner where I'm buying everything new and trying everything new. So I'm like, should I stop making videos? I don't want to, but it's like, what if you don't have anything to make a video on? I don't know. So let me know if you have any suggestions down below what you'd want to possibly see from me. That would be amazing. That would really help me out. Um, cause that is another reason, like not only schedule wise, but that's another reason why I haven't been filming a ton lately. Cause I'm like, well, what do I film about? What do I film about? <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you can make some requests, help your girl out. I would really appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go. Like I said, this is the final makeup look. It is looking pretty glowy right now. So I'm like, is it going to hold up? Is it going to stay? Adding that blush definitely brought some more glow back to my cheeks. Cause it is a little bit dewier of a finish. The powder definitely tampered that down a little bit. But here is the final look for like right now. I am going to add some bronzer in the crease. But I'll see you in a couple hours for a check-in of how this is all wearing. Okay, okay. I'm in front of our like back window, back door. So there's lots of light coming through. It's about 3.30. So it's been five hours or so. Um, I think the foundation is holding up very well. But I am getting pretty oily and greasy. I'm not going to lie, if you can see, can you hear my washer in the background? You might be able to. <laughs> um, but if you can see, like I definitely am getting pretty oily and greasy. I could have benefited from powdering a little bit more, probably doing my typical powder routine, which is the Givenchy powder on my under eyes and in my T-zone. And then usually the hourglass powder or the Ami Cole one on the rest of my face. So I'll definitely powder more next time I wear this foundation. But honestly, other than that, it's looking pretty good and it's holding up pretty well. It is kind of breaking apart under my nose a little bit, but it's been running. So I've been like going like that, you know? So yeah, I think it looks great. I think the blush is still holding on strong. It's not breaking up anywhere, looking like cakey or weird. It's just getting oily or greasy, which I might touch it up with powder. I mean, we're not really doing anything. We're picking up Ivy from uh, the sitter and then going to Walmart to pick up some things and then come home for the night. So I might not, but I think I'm, I don't know. I haven't decided if I powder or not. I'll let you know if I do, but so far, 
so good just a little oily and greasy i will see you in a couple more hours for another checkup all right it's 7 50 so this has been on for nine and a half ish hours or so definitely looking very oily and greasy in the camera and also in real life um, a little too oily and greasy for my personal preference but i will definitely powder it more next time i wear this foundation uh, but overall i actually think it's looking pretty good for n almost nine hours of wear it's looking really great here on my cheeks it held the coverage and all of that this part looks a little broken up and rough but that's always where foundation and complexion products kind of wear off weirdly on me so i'm not too concerned about it it came off like kind of weird on my nose right here there's like a line um went into my smile lines a little bit a little broken up on my chin and it does look slightly cakey in between my eyebrows but other than that like i really do think it looks good especially for nine hours of wear and i did not put a setting spray i really do i'm someone who believes that setting spray does help my makeup last longer so this is not my favorite foundation ever like there are foundations i like more than this one however i'm impressed I, I liked it way more than i thought i was going to i will reiterate i think that the hydrating primer definitely helped but then again i'm pretty glowy right now so maybe i could have done without the hydrating primer i don't know i'm definitely going to keep trying this out with other primers my hourglass mineral veil one that's like my favorite and keep trying it out and i'll keep you guys updated on my thoughts but like i said i do have foundations that i like more than this one my purito Sika clearing bb cream um the laura mercier tinted moisturizer one is really great the um nars soft matte complete i love that one so Again, not a favorite, but I like it way more than I thought I was going to, and I'm excited to try it again. That's the thing. If I did not like this, I wouldn't want to wear it again, um, but I'm excited to try this again. We actually have friends coming over tomorrow just to hang out at our house. I think I'm going to wear this one again and see what I think. So, okay, it's the next day. I don't have my like camera and lights set up like I normally do, so if the angle of the camera is a little bit different, that's why. But this is going to make the video like extra long, but I wanted to come on and let you know that I used the Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation again, and I had a little bit of a different experience with it today, and I just wanted to discuss. So I went ahead and did my normal priming routine that I like the best, the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer all over my face, and then the Hourglass Vanish Primer just in my T-zone, and then this on top. Because neither of those primers are necessarily hydrating, this really was more of that natural matte finish that it claims to have, and it did have more of that self-setting feel that it claims to have as well. So that's a good thing that this foundation can be a little bit manipulated that if you do have drier skin adding a hydrating primer underneath could make it work for you but even though i didn't use a hydrating primer and i had more of that natural matte finish that it claims it still wasn't like super drying on my skin which i really appreciated and then i did my normal setting powder as well even though it was more matte and had that more um like dry down finish sort of feel i still can't not set my face i just it's impossible for me to not set my face so i did my normal setting routine as well with the givenchy powder in my t-zone and under my eyes and then the amicole everywhere a pretty light layer and again didn't get super dry and cakey or anything on my skin no like flaking especially on my forehead which i really really struggle with flaking on my forehead and my nose didn't happen so i wanted to come on and tell you guys that that i did have a completely different experience with applying it today and i think it's going to wear completely different as well because it is more of that matte less hydrating i don't think it's going to get as glowy i'll probably come on at the end of the day and let you guys know how it wore um the second day as well just because why not i would be curious if i was in your shoes it's one o'clock right now so i applied it at like 12 30 so getting a little bit later of a start than yesterday's wear time but still I feel like I'm gonna get a good like eight hours out of it but here's what it's looking like up close it just looks nice like it had nice coverage I still did put um concealer and stuff down here but it's not looking dry or anything and then also I don't think I've talked to you guys about this blush yet and it is so good that I have to <laughs> it's the new Kosas blush is life blush um i picked up the shade dreamland i don't believe i've mentioned this in any video so far it is a little bit newer to me but i did pick this up at sephora you guys this blush 
is stunning it is the i don't want to say it's the only blush i have on my face right now because i did put a liquid blush on but the glow in most of the color you're seeing right now is this dreamland blush look how absolutely stunning i did not even put a highlight on and it just gives the most beautiful glow to your skin i did use the charlotte tilbury setting spray which adds a tiny bit of a glow but my cheeks were already looking this beautiful prior to the setting spray it just gives the most beautiful sheen to your skin it looks healthy look look at that i didn't put any highlight on that's all that blush and then a little bit of the setting spray and it just looks so beautiful but not in like a glittery way there's no like little specks of glitter it's just truly glowy and stunning like stunning i had to mention this because i've been loving this and like i had used it and liked it in the past but Today, I put it on and it's something about it where I was just like floored, like blown away. Like, oh my gosh, it is just stunning. So I wanted to mention that because wow, so beautiful. Um, I think that was all I wanted to say right now. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. A little bit more matte, a little less glowy. Um, it feels slightly dry right now, but I think my oils will come through throughout the day and it'll end up being uh, fine. But yeah, I am going to do another check-in at the end of the day to let you guys know how it wore today as well, like a second uh, wear test kind of for you. But yeah, this is what's looking like so far. And so far, again, day two, I'm impressed with this foundation. So that's exciting. All right, guys, so it is like 9.45. So I've had this makeup on for about nine hours at this point. I'm not gonna lie, it didn't wear as well as I thought it was going to. This whole part of my face looks really, really nice. And as you can see, it's definitely not as oily and greasy today as it was yesterday, which makes sense how I said it and all of that. But it did end up breaking up pretty bad right here around my mouth. I'm not too, too concerned about that because that is where foundations tend to break up on me. But it broke up like, I feel like worse than normal. I mean, granted, I have had it on for like nine hours. I did eat like a chicken wrap <laughs> earlier that got kind of, you know, messy and I had to wipe my mouth. And Ivy, I'm sure ended up touching my face well she for sure she always does <laughs> you know touch my face throughout the day so I I didn't wear as well as I thought I was going to but I still think it wore nicely and I do like how it is not as oily and greasy right now as it was yesterday so that's a little update for you guys I still like this I'm still excited to keep testing it out and keep wearing it um, the blush is still blushing still blushing i'm glad i added that second layer at the end of my makeup earlier i think that that really helped keep it on um the highlight I, it's still highlighted like it looks the same but it just kind of has morphed into just the natural oils and glow of my skin coming through which i don't hate like i that's the kind of highlight i prefer anyways um so i like that the mascara it's definitely smudged a little bit flaked off um it's not like holding well actually Holding it curl wise, it looks pretty much the same as earlier. So it kind of held my curl as much as it was earlier. It's just not curling enough. So not the worst mascara in the world, but I definitely wouldn't choose it over Tarte Man Eater or that Cleo Kill Lash that I was mentioning earlier in the video. So this is the final look after like nine hours away. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's a little oil and greasy and a little broken up on areas that normally break up when you wear foundation. You know what I mean? So let me know down below have you tried this foundation what are your thoughts on it i feel like it's polarizing i have seen very mixed reviews some people really enjoy it and some people think it is drying and cakey and too matte and i don't know i i am definitely leaning towards i like it so obviously i took precautions and steps to make it not dry and cakey so sometimes it's beneficial to be a later <laughs> review so you kind of know like what to do how to help it out how to make yourself like it more you know what i mean but Yes, I'm curious your guys' thoughts down below if you have tried this. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Seriously, thank you for still being here. Thank you for watching my videos, even if I take a month or two long break. Thank you for supporting me. And I just, I really do love this channel. I really, I know, I know I haven't been showing you very much these last couple, this last like year and a half, two years. Uh, but I really genuinely do like this channel. I do like making videos still. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.